An update now in a lawsuit we've been following against the Alabama Medical Cannabis Commission. A plaintiff is now alleging that plaintiff was wrongfully eliminated from licensing consideration for a new reason. Yeah, Mandela LLC, one of the plaintiffs claims that the commission incorrectly flagged the company leadership on its background check information. News 19 investigative reporter Dallas Parker joins us now in the studio with the latest in the legal battle over medical marijuana licenses in Alabama. That's right. One of the steps in the application uh, for consideration for licensing is passing a background check. Well, Medella says not no one in the company leadership is a felon. However, the group claims the State Medical Cannabis Commission erroneously flagged them for not passing the felony background check. The filing alleges the AMCC site had public records that stated Medella failed due to, quote, a criminal conviction history or felony or controlled substance related misdemeanor 10 years and criminal background checks receipt of results. The group says this has likely prevented them from obtaining an integrated license and the most recent allegations come as the AMCC faces multiple lawsuits over its handling of the now twice delayed licensing issue procedures. Now based on the most recently filed amended complaint, Medella is now also suing for defamation. The filing states quote, defendants knew with reasonable certainty that each of these comments and statements it published as alleged herein and otherwise would be known or made known to the public and knew the statements were false or made each of these statements in reckless disregard of its truth or falsity. Medella LLC claims it asked the commission to acknowledge and retract its false statements on September 4th and the commission did not respond until a week later. I reached out to the AMCC for comment on the matter. We have not yet received a response. Christine.